Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to control, rewind, and fast forward in Reaper. As you probably already know, to jump around and navigate in Reaper, we can just click up here in the ruler to play from different sections of our song. And we can also jog by grabbing right here and hear playback in the process. Or we could hold down control on the PC, command on the Mac, and grab it as well. And that's going to scrub our play cursor or the track, letting us hear it in the process. And if we're using markers like this, we could jump to the next marker using the right bracket or go back to the previous marker using the left bracket. But there are times where we want to rewind or fast forward the track. So let's go to the Actions menu, Show Action List. And if we type in Rewind, we can see there's an action right here that's going to rewind a little bit. And the keyboard shortcut is Control Left on the PC or Command Left on the Mac. And if we type in Fast Forward, we'll see a similar action to Fast Forward a little bit. Control Right on the PC or Command Right on the Mac. So if we hit those keyboard shortcuts, we can fast forward or rewind just like that. And even do it during playback. And how far it moves is based on how close we're zoomed in. So if we zoom out a bit more, it'll move a bit further. Or zoomed in more, it won't move as far. But there's really no way to customize how far it moves, at least not with those actions. But there's a few other actions we can use. So let's go back to the actions list and type in pixel. And we can see right here, there's two actions that are assigned to the left and right arrow, which is going to move the cursor left one pixel or right one pixel. But in practice, that's only useful for doing fine tuned editing. As you can move it one at a time or hold it down to move continuously. But as you can tell, it moves very slowly. So it's not very useful for rewinding or fast forwarding. But we could change this action like this. Let's reassign these keyboard shortcuts to these actions. Move cursor left eight pixels or right. So change the left arrow for this one and the right arrow for this one. And now, if we hit the right arrow, it moves eight pixels. Or the left arrow moves it left. But as you can see, it still doesn't move fast enough for rewinding or fast forwarding. We could change that by making it a custom action. So let's go back to the actions list. Let's choose this one. New action, new custom action, and add in more versions of this action. Let's do it three times. And now we're going to get 24 pixels. And if we wanted more, we can go to 32, or we can add them one at a time like this. 33, 34, and so on. But let's just add 32. Give it a name. And then we could save this and assign this the left keyboard shortcut. And do the same thing with the right one. New action, new custom action, and drag in three more of these. 
give it a name, assign it the right arrow, and now let's see how it works. Move the right arrow, and it moves 32 pixels. And we can hit it multiple times, or better yet, hold it down to move it through our project. So we can jump around pretty quickly like this. So it's a great way of rewinding and fast forwarding a bit quicker and as quick as we want. And it'll move even while we're playing. But it won't seek. But if we wanted to seek, we could try a few other options. Let's search move cursor B. And right over here, there's an action to move the cursor back one B. So let's assign this the left arrow. And for the forward one, we'll make it the right arrow. And now it's going to fast forward or rewind one beat at a time. Again, we could hold it down and it's going to seek on the fly. And it's a bit more useful if we start out right on the beat. Like here. And we could also choose these options instead, which are not going to seek and it'll give us the same behavior as moving it by the pixel. So now it'll still move one beat at a time, but it's not going to seek during playback. We can still hold it down to rewind or fast forward. And we could also do it by measures. Let's search move cursor measure. And we can use this option instead, either seeking or non-seeking. And again, it's going to jump forward or backwards measure by measure. Hold it down to go fast. Or just click it multiple times to move around our project. But either way, it's a little more customizable and user friendly to rewind or fast forward to our project like this. And keep in mind, you could use any keyboard shortcuts you prefer. I just like to use the left and right arrows because they're right in front of the keyboard. Go forward or back. So that's pretty much it. That's how to control, rewind, and fast forward in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.